swear to God, if those dogs came down here to crap on my floor, I'm going to kill them. I don't see anything. Oh, maybe it was you guys. <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, Todd Cheap Drums guy up here in uh, up north, frozen Michigan. Interesting day today. Now, I got 100 subscribers. Can you friggin' believe it? I couldn't believe I had 50. There's a hundred people out there that actually subscribed to me. And right after I saw the 100 mark, it went down to 99 again. I lost one. Oh, well, you know, it is what it is. But I was at 100 for that split second. So there you go. But I wanted to do another video. I already did two this weekend, and I hadn't planned to do a third, but I thought the need arose, so I'll give her a shot and say thanks and all that. Uh, I was messing around down here with Candy Stain, and by the way, a friend of mine came over today and took a look at Candy Stain for the first time, and he loved it. <sighs> that made me feel a lot better. It does look really good in person. I, I, you know, I, I can honestly say that it's still growing on me, and it might take a month or a year or two to, you know, where I'm there totally with it. So, but anyways, uh, so that happened. That was good, and. I also had some news that I'll tell you in a second. And also, when I was down here messing around, because I was running out of space trying to set up my little china symbol. And, of course, I'm really restricted down here in this strange little cubby in our basement. And I don't have a lot of room for stands. Uh, not unlike those street performers or, or people sitting on a stage uh, at little gigs and stuff like that. And I was looking around. I'm like, well, how can I alleviate an extra uh, symbol stand? And, you know, I was going through a whole slew of things. But let me first get, get to the news before I, what I came up with on this. I thought it was a pretty good little idea. I wanted to share with you. But today was going to be a monumentous day, a day among days. I was going to order my third used Premier snare drum. I really wanted it. It was used at a guitar center in Middleton, Wisconsin, across Lake Michigan from us. And it was a Premier model, 1005. I don't have a 1005, I have a 1006 uh, Premier Olympic, but I didn't have the 1005. Uh, it was a 14 by five, which unfortunately I already have a couple of 14 by fives. And I really didn't want the same size. I wanted uh, something different. Hence the reason I ordered that Ludwig accent, uh, 14 by six and a half, because it was a, a bigger drum. And so I really had my heart set on a 14 by six. Now, there was several premier 14 by six snares used, but the cost was up there quite a bit. And this used premier snare drum in Middleton uh, was 119. And so, you know, I was gonna get that. And at the last minute, uh, I checked the deals, brand new drums that are going on sale. And I found then it was a sound percussion lab. And I'll say what you will about sound percussion. I think they're, they're inexpensive drums, but I think they're actually really well made. Um, I did find a sound percussion lab, 14 by six snare drum, beautiful blue finish, real nice lugs on it. And it was regularly, I think 169 or 159 and they knocked off 50 bucks off it. <clears throat> you know, I got one third the price taken off it. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Uh, my wife's favorite color is blue. And I thought it would go over better with her if I got it blue. You know, I don't mind blue. And it's kind of nice since it's a change of color down here on the snare, snare rack. And so I said, you know, it's brand new. I'd be stupid to pass up on it. And so whipped out the card bought it. Um, a couple of minutes later, I got a confirmation that the order was placed. And then five minutes after that, this is kind of weird, uh, Guitar Center mailed me back and said, our warehouse is currently out of the 14 by six in the blue. However, uh, Guitar Center in Southfield, Michigan, which is near Detroit, they just put one on their floor, took it out of the box, put it on the floor. Nobody's touched it. There's no stick marks on the head or nothing and so what guitar center did 
is they told them, the guys at Southfield, to put it back in the box and ship it up to me. And so that's what happened. And today's Monday, so that would probably make it getting here by Wednesday or Thursday. So I ordered a brand new Sound Percussion Lab 14 by 6 snare. And when I get it, I'll do another opening video. Of course, it won't be in a perfectly pristine box because they already did open it, and it might be actually in a different snare box. But it's still a brand new drum, so I'm happy. But I still want that Premier 1005. And I will get that. And I think the only difference, the, another thing that kind of steered me towards the sound percussion uh, snare was that the Premier Olympic 1006 is the exact same drum pretty much as the 1005. However, I think the only difference is with the 1005, uh, it has the, the big Premier P badge, which I like, and it doesn't have the internal muffler, and it had a different uh, throw off also. But again, I really wish it was the six inch, uh, 14 by six, and not the five, because again, I already have two five, 14 by fives, and I really wanted different sizes. That can, that's what justifies me having a sneer collection to my wife. The long as they're all kind of different, so there we go. And this one, of course, is different, it's brand new, and it's 14 by six. But anyways, so that's the good news. Also, getting back to candy stain, and the cymbal stand problem. I don't have the room to put another one back there, especially when I hook up the SPL kit with the two floor toms. It's going to be even less room. So I was looking at uh, my floor toms, looking at the floor tom leg, and I was taking off one of the mounts, which this mount was, because I keep the L-rod in it for when I mount my Premier snare, or Premier, uh, one of my Premier toms in it. And I had an idea. I don't know if it's been done before, but I thought it was pretty neat. I didn't check if it was done before. I don't care, but I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, you've seen these. These are a symbol uh, boom arm extension clamp. Uh, you can get them anywhere. Sweetwater, Guitar Center. I bought this one used on Guitar Center for about 15 bucks. Uh, this is a nice little, a nice little stand. Attach it to your symbol stand. And you could add a small uh, crash, splash, or a small china to a single stand. Uh, it's a nice little thing, and it comes in handy. And also, it pulls double duty, holding uh, a Premier L-arm to mount one of my toms off center, off site, or not above the bass drum, but off uh, off side of it. Anyways, so I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at the floor tom legs. So I'm like, you know, there's really not much difference between the two. So I wanted to try a little experiment. And here I have my lovely model, which is my Premier 16-inch floor tom, Premier XPK 16-inch floor tom, 1980s or 1990-ish. I love this thing. But I wanted to try this out. So where the symbol boom arm goes, spin it. Open up, slide it right on. Holy crap, fits nice. Tighten her down. Hard as a rock. And now, let me just grab a cymbal stand. My little PDP one here. in there you schmuck look at that she fits nice and secure look at that and I thought that would be pretty handy and I might use this myself over here when I set up my SPL kit because then I won't be struggling and fighting and shifting everything around but I thought that was a neat little idea again i don't know if it's been done before if anybody else has figured it out but i wanted to share that with you guys for any of you guys who gig a lot in really tiny stages or perhaps you're maybe even one of those well, i guess the street performers what are they called buskers but i watched a video the other day of one of those guys he had to carry all his crap on the subway in new york 
And I thought, my God, that's gonna suck. Because cymbal stands can get pretty heavy. And this is kind of neat because you alleviate the base of the cymbal stand where most of the weight is. And you can use your four, your four time can pull double duty. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. And hopefully one of you could put that in operation and put it into play and it help you out a little bit. But I was really excited to discover that. Again, I don't know if I'm the one who discovered it, but I'll claim it right now. But anyways, I'm Todd, the Chief Drum Guy. And when that snare comes in, I'll throw another video at you. But anyways, I gotta get upstairs because my wife left me a little list of things to do to include clean the floors. Uh, yeah, clean the floors. But anyways, see you guys. Have a good night. Now, while I'm gone, I want you to clean the floors. Yeah, I'll get right on that.